Good one, good eye. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back hello. to Sunday Tea Book, episode 40. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Is Clifford. Your mic on? We didn't check our mics. <laughs> Happy Easter. We're so excited. We're so hepped up on chocolate and sugar. That's not really true. But a uh, holy hand grenade and a cherry pie. It's tea time. I also enjoyed your language video. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Time Signature. Um, awesome. Welcome yeah, happy back. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yeah. With Sunday Tea Book, you'd think maybe we would take a break. No, we don't take a break. We just keep going. <laughs> Sensei Gong Fu on Instagram. Hello. Hey, guillotine bow tie. Welcome. Awesome. Good to, good to uh, see your handle. I was going to say good to see you, but I can't see you. I can just see your handle is there. So welcome to Sunday Tea Book. Happy Easter, everybody. Wow. We are back. Ni hao. Ni hao, ni hao, ni hao. Awesome. We're back with episode 40. Um, we have a super exciting episode for you guys, but first I'm gonna make a few announcements, all right? So first, like uh, um, Time Signature mentioned, Jen has a brand new video. I put it in the uh, title role. Um, for those of you on Instagram and are wondering what the title role is, you gotta go on YouTube to check that out, which is where you're gonna wanna be eventually to get the full awesomeness of Sunday Tea Book. Jen has a great new video about Chinese language. It's a great precursor to today's episode. Okay, so I kind of threw out some social media that that was. You will still enjoy this episode. If you didn't see it, you can always go and watch it later, but that video is out there. Um, I have got a really exciting event coming up. Um, mm. Not this coming Thursday, but the next one after that, Thursday, April 15th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. I am going to be, um, Sue from Sue Cha Tea is hosting me in a sort of live tea time interview. It's gonna be super fun. 15th of April, Thursday at 8.30 Eastern. I'm stoked for that, okay guys? So the, the uh, did I put a link down below? I think I put a link down below. No, maybe I didn't. You can go to suchati.ca and the registration is right there on the front page. Boom, it's right there. It is a registered event, uh, seating, seating? Virtual seating is limited, so um, go and sign up so you can check that out. It's going to be fun. And my last announcement is... And it's free of charge. It's free. But if you, you, you yeah. can donate. If you want to donate, you can donate. Donations are going to the Kidney Foundation. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> interrupt. Hey, Simmerjeet on Instagram. You know the drill. Instagram is no good. you got to go to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so those are... I have one more announcement. Um, and it's... It's somewhat tea related. It's about our garden. Jen has been oh. gardening since the end of February. Okay, I'm not kidding. So for those of you who are in warmer climate and don't realize how amazing that is, we were buried in snow at the end of February. Okay, and it's just now starting to peak above zero consistently. So we have this garden in our basement in this like silver house with lights. It's super cool, like from science fiction. And <laughs> yesterday we were bringing some, the first wave of veggies are coming out and going into the ground in the garden. So why is that related? Because gardenings are related to fresh, good, tasty food. Tasting is related to tea. So it's related to tea. See, I made it, I made it work. But we were tired last night. It's also related because after we were doing all the gardening outside, we're a little bit tired and we're doing the Sunday Tea Book episode. It was a little hard, right? Because this is a pretty cerebral episode. But we got, but we cracked a really hard one, which we're going to get to. So if you're on Instagram, jump over to YouTube so you can check this out. This, and I was reminded. So one what, of the most uh, frustrating mm, uh, episode, right? The volume was Perhaps. raised, right? So when we were talking about it, like it was heated, it was intense. It was an intense sort of, uh, anyway, just stay tuned and you'll see what we mean. But what I want to tell you is first, let's back up. What is Sunday Tea Book, right? This is a, a live stream where Jen and I take a book, paper or article that is full of great information. And we, um, and, it, but, and either it hasn't been translated or the translation is a little bit, um, is, a, is um, not perfect. And that really, 
I really thought that didn't apply so much to this document, but it does still. There was some really tricky stuff right. going when on. Right, when I chose started this, I read the Chinese, I read the English, I read separate. I know there's something we need to work on. I didn't expect yeah, this yeah. kind of workload. So we got right into it last <laughs> I'm night. I'm just gonna start brew some tea, okay? Yeah, we're brewing uh, traditional Keeman, one of my favorite um, teas, not just for breakfast, but I do love this tea for breakfast. Anyway, so I got reminded last night of why Sunday Tea Book is so epic. Because if we, let's say we had the discussion and we published the finished translation, you're going to get a really great description of, of how the tea categorization was done. And it's going to be fine. But when we dive into this, guys, you are going to see how much more there is to learn when you go through the process, even though it's frustrating, right? Even though it makes us a little crazy trying to understand. This really got me excited about the essence of Sunday Tea Book is really, we're going to see that today. So anyway, whew, so I'm stoked. It's Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Hey, Simmerjeet made it over to YouTube. Awesome. And um, that is what Sunday Tea Book is. We can now talk about... Mm, we're brewing in a pot today. I'm going to show That's them. exactly how we have our first tea of the day, like every morning. Okay, so it's uh, those cold Don't brew. Don't burn yourself. Okay, cold brew <laughs> vessels. Uh, and What's it called? Hario. It's Hario. a Hario cold brew vessel. Right. We tried cold brew in it exactly once. Didn't like it. <laughs> so now we use it as a gorgeous teapot because you can see the leaf. But we got to use this sleeve on it or we'll burn our hands because it's we not... We somehow have this perfect sleeve to just cover the back, yeah. otherwise it would just burn out. Yeah, you could use a tea towel too though, that would work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's in your cup if you are mm -hmm. having some tea and watching this? Um... Yes, yeah, so let us know what's in your cup, let us know what you're brewing. I think I saw that Jubaijia is brewing Qingming today. Um, and... uh, that's the best. The, the Chinese oh, oh. tune. Oh, Qingming Chinese. is today. Is what? it today or tomorrow? I'm not sure. I don't know. He okay, says okay. it's today's today then. Sure. We didn't check that. That's cool. So um, that reminds me of our... Because I, I don't know which time zone he is. Florida. Oh, he, oh, Florida. Oh, Florida. Same, Florida. Okay, same. Same. Mm. I feel like it was in North America. <laughs> I prefer mm. not brewing and grandpa brewing, actually. I prefer pot brewing and grandpa brewing. Mm. Uh -huh. Cool. Yeah. Convenient and also delicious. Mm. Cool. So uh, today we're continuing on this uh, article by Professor Chen Chuan, translated by Michael. Let me just pull it up. I can't see <laughs> around Instagram. Let me move you Instagram. Translated by. <laughs> Here we go. Translated by Michael. I don't know if it where it is exactly. Uh -huh. Supposed to be there. <gasps> so dirty. We're gonna find it, okay? We're, We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. On the first bottom of first page? I thought so, but I don't see it anymore. No? Anyway, link is in the YouTube channel. Yeah, go pull the, the document up and get get find out who translated it and let us know in the comments. Yeah, the link is uh, down below. It's uh, translated by a uh, Mike. English gentleman, I think it's very English, especially today's session, because mm. I have problem understand that fully. Yeah, and, and me uh, too, actually. Published too. Uh, in a French journal, I think. Journal of Agriculture, Agriculture, yeah, a French journal of Agriculture. Yes. Important part for you guys is that the link is down below. Unlike previous Sunday tea books where I would read a section and then we'd go over it, we're gonna just jump to key sections in this one. So you may, you probably may, you, I don't know. I would recommend you go to the link down below. So if you're on Instagram, jump over to YouTube. Emmy Wolf, welcome on uh, Instagram. Uh, jump over to the YouTube and the link down below, we got a link to the PDF that we're actually going through and you can follow along there. At key points, I may bring it up on the screen, but I may not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, yeah, pull that up and grab your own copy. It's, uh, it's just right there on the internet for you to enjoy. Mm -hmm. Tea nerds, you're going to love this episode. This is getting deep. This is getting cool. But if you're not a tea nerd and you're just here to have a good time and to enjoy tea trivia time, which is coming, 
That's or, good too. And talk with the, the fellow tea lovers. I love how much uh, discussion they have yeah, on the chat yeah, box. Yeah, chatting with fellow tea lovers in the chat box. You, there's still some nuggets in here for you. There's some really, there's some gold in this one. So we're gonna get nerdy, but we're also gonna keep you at a really practical level. So hey, Tommaso Tresoldi, welcome. Jump over to YouTube. We're about to wrap up on the Instagram side, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, and then we're going to get into some tea trivia time. So everybody on Instagram, you definitely want to go to YouTube, at least for the tea trivia. Wow, and I'm going to say hi. So I'll say bye-bye to Instagram. Bye-bye. See you on YouTube. Uh, da -da -da -da. End the video. And share to IGTV. Pick a funny thumbnail. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that face. <laughs> Next. Sunday Tea Book episode 40. It worked. I don't have to do anything. All right, guys. So, um, do I wasn't like, why you do that? I was I meant to talk a bit, but the, um, since you were really talking, I don't want to talk over you. All right. So, it looks like Josh pulled in a little bit late, but you did not miss tea trivia time. Oh, so great, great timing. Yes, better late than never. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, anything else? Tea what? signature MMA. Having a herbal tea called a Z Zov Zova tea. Zov. Oh, three Z's is oh, sleepy. sleepy. It's a sleeping tea. Oh, That's good. I like the sleeping. Nice. Sleeping. All right. We might be a little bit groggy because we were just sleeping a few minutes ago. Okay, Clifford is having white tea shen. Lolo is oh, having nice. tea guanyin. Oh, tea guanyin. Yes. Oh, cool, cool. Hey. And Lolo said, new video, cool, great job. Give you a little... Thank uh, you. Boom. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start the machine. Get I'm the... I'm uh, going to have some tea. Mm, yeah, let's talk about the tea a little bit. Mm, we usually oh. give it a swirl. Okay, okay, okay. Give it a That's swirl usually... on, Give it a swirl on the tea cam. We'll get there. Uh, okay. Here we go. So, okay, how, the, how do I do this? We usually, this is a Phil's job, okay? Usually this is Phil's job. So we just it do It might that. shake the whole computer, but because all of the, all of the intense liquor collects at the bottom. Oh, can you see that? I think they oh, saw that a little it. bit. Your dark shirt. Darn it. Anyway, now the tea is actually a nice liquor color. You can see you the see glass, that? the glass in the foreground the is so The red goes light. up. What are we drinking today is the question. The answer I'm is traditional <laughs> oh, no, take, is a, take the lid off though to do it. I this is a different color. Right? Yeah, see, I didn't uh, do the tornado shape. Okay, so now you can see that we may be uh, tea snobs, but we also do what is required when it's required sometimes. You know, sometimes you got to shake the tea up, okay, to get that liquor color dialed in. Mm -hmm. We did it. I'm going to, I'm really looking forward to a drink of this. Let's mm -hmm. boot up the magic computer. We're booting up the magic computer, guys, and you know what that means. I think you all know what that means. It's tea trivia time. Crowd goes wild. What are you guys drinking today? Keeman traditional. All right, guys, tea trivia in 15 seconds. We are going to have a blast as always, right? Tea trivia is just having fun. Take some guesses. I put some tricky ones in related to today. I don't know. I forget what I put in. Just have fun. Here we go in two seconds. One, go. All right, guys. Tea trivia time. The two things that must be considered in a tea classification system are one, process and characteristics. Two, dry leaf color and leaf size. Three, liquor color and cultivar. Or four, tea price and place of origin. All right, guys, to put your guesses in, you just hit the number and press enter. I know most of you know that, but you never know. Somebody new might have tuned in and they don't know what's going on. They're like, oh my gosh, tea trivia time. This is epic. You're right. It's epic. And put a number down. Take a guess. Let's see what Igor says. He's drinking Bayat Silan. Ooh, one of my favorites. All right. Chubaijia starts the uh, guessing with number one. Igor follows suit quickly after. Okay, guys, when the screen changes to this one, you still have some time, but it is running out. All right, so put your answers in so that the computer can grab your answer and we can get you on the scoreboard. <laughs> Fernanda goes with three, liquor color and cultivar. Time signature goes with one, Simmerjeet one, Lolo. Look like a lot of guesses for process and characteristics. A guess for 
One guess for liquor color and cultivar. Come on, somebody throw down another random guess. Way to go, people who guessed number one. The answer is processing characteristics. We're going to uh, come back to that again today. Um, but good guesses, everyone, and way to go on the first question of tea trivia time. Man, I love this tea. It's got that dry, I can't say dry sweet, those are kind of opposites. So let me just come back to tea trivia time. But it has that dried fruit aroma that's just so nice. Mm, relaxing. Holy Homeric tale, TTT is super epic. How many meanings can a Chinese character have? All right, related to Jen's recent and epic <laughs> video. Is it one, usually just the one, two, many, three, 42, Shout out if you know what that answer means. And four, only one official meaning. How many meanings can a Chinese character have? Is there a limit? Is it known? All right. You have that official radio voice. Radio voice, that's like right. That. I'm just gonna turn it a bit so my shoulders are centered in my mini frame. All right guys, time is running out but you still have a moment to get your answers in. I see Time Signature and Lee both come in with a two. I see uh, Jubaijia come in with one. Clifford and Igor with a two. Will anybody guess my Douglas Adams number three? I do not know, I do not know. Somebody just for fun. All right, you've got a few more moments to slide your answers in under the wire and get the computer to take your answers. And all of you who guessed many, two, four, six, seven of you, great. Job. The answer, there is no specific number. It could be three, it could be four, it can be up to 30, I think I heard in the recent video. But uh, there you have it. 42 is the answer to the universe. Clifford Little, thank you for, for um, bringing that to the forefront. That is what, what I is wanted that? to hear. It's the answer to the universe. <laughs> Next question. All right, when examining the characteristics of tea, we need to consider one, the dry leaf, two, all of these things, I'll get to the rest. Three, the liquor, and four, the brood leaf. All right, guys, I believe in you, I believe in you. I want to sweep on this one, guys. I want a full sweep. Goodbye and thanks for all the fish. Yes, Time Signature MMA, bringing on the Douglas Adams quotes. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna have to explain this to Jen later, or maybe somebody can explain it down in the comments but uh, she's a little bit lost. All right, guys, I want to use my wind sound effect. I want my wind sound of David Villa Escribano. Escribano guesses two. All of these things, I see lots of uh, answers for two. Another sign changes all. Hmm. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe I missed a previous comment. All right, guys, you've got a few more minutes to get your answers in. Uh, what, when examining the characteristics of tea, we need to consider is it the dry leaf? Is it the liquor? Is it the brood leaf? Or is it all of these things? I see many guesses for two. We got a sweep! Way to go, guys! You nailed it! I really wanted to use that today. I knew you could do it. Awesome work. I'm supposed to let that fade, but I just hit the button. I killed the crowd. I killed the crowd. All right, guys. Way to go. A full sweep indeed. As I show in the, uh, on our website too, right, we always show the dry leaf, we always show the brood liquor, we always show the, uh, did I say the brood liquor? The liquor and the brood leaf. Those are really important to, uh, to uh, get at the characteristics of a tea. And here we are at the next question. The reason tea leaves are shaped differently is primarily due to, okay, this is finished tea, okay, for those of you who are wondering, not tea on the plant. This is finished processed tea, which I am now clarifying. The reason they are shaped differently is primarily due to one, cultivar, two, processing, three, plucking technique, or four, leaf age. This is a little look forward into next week's Sunday Tea Book. All right, I see some answers coming in for number two, and I see some uh, elaboration on why 42 is such a cool number. All right, guys, a few more minutes to slide your answers in. I think people are just rocking today's Sunday Tea Book. Lots of answers for two for this question. Man, I really enjoy this. I think this was a really fun find. I'm glad we sort of, ooh, Simmergy goes with plucking technique, okay. Josh comes in with a two. 
And the answer is, oh, an even Lolo guess cultivar. Good guesses, everybody. I love that you guys get yourselves out there and stray from the crowd. Just do it to be different. But the answer is processing. Uh, all the other answer is right. It's just a primarily get that I, down to two. Yeah, I did put primarily. Good. I want to make sure. Time signature. I wonder if you got recorded there with your late two question mark. All right, guys, we are going to wrap up tea trivia with this question. Historically, tea categories appeared in this order. Oh boy, brace for impact. This is going to be a string of colors like you've never heard. I'm going to try and speed read the answers. Is the order one, green, yellow, white, dark, black, oolong? Is it two, green, white, yellow, oolong, black, dark? Is it three, green, yellow, dark, white, black, oolong? Or is it four, dark, green, white, black, yellow, oolong? <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. If you're dizzy, take a deep breath, take a sip of tea. Okay, I'm upright. I'm upright. Madame, could I get another little bit of tea? Yeah. All right, guys. Historically, tea categories appeared in this order. I found this super interesting and I didn't know this, so I thought I would share it. And it's in the book. It's in the uh, paper that we're going over. So uh, I don't think it's in this week's, but it's also a little look forward to next week's. How do you... There's a question from Josh there. I'm going to pause reading your question, Josh, but I bet you Jen's going to read ahead. Did you get the gist of 42? Yes, yes. Awesome. Thank, you, Thank everybody you, everybody. For, uh, That's awesome. Me. All right, a few more moments to get in your final answer, and then the magical computer will calculate the results. Way to go, Jubaijia uh, and Lolo. The order is green, yellow, dark, white, black, oolong. Everybody else, great guesses, great tries. I don't think the computer was perfect today. I think it missed a few. I see some guesses up there that I don't see on the scoreboard, but that's okay. We're not here to win or lose. We're here to have a blast. All right, and here is the results. Uh, Jubaijia with four, also nice. sharing first place with Igor and Clifford and Lolo. You guys rocked it. You rocked it. Look at all the fours. We got a bunch of threes, but you're all winners in my book. We had a uh, great time with tea trivia this week, and now we're going to dive into tea classification mm. in theory and practice. Da, 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 da. If I can find my way back to the main screen. Oh, jiggling the computer. <laughs> he looks really energetic. I look, I just uh, wake up, which is true. <laughs> so did I. You look absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. <sighs> okay. Please take it away. I talked a lot. I got to take a little voice rest. No, I love your voice. I love your voice. Especially when I just woke up. I'm those super slow wake up and... You know, super slow. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so we just mm. mentioned uh, at the beginning of this live, we were talking about how yesterday we had really heated discussion. No fight. No like. More like an academic discussion, like yes. trying to. Why is it burning me? For me, it's because that a second language clog. I bet if you guys clog. are clogged, mm. like a like a blockage, like you. Yeah, it really feel like mm. my brain is this big, but the words coming out of my mouth is like a dripping out. You know, like a too much is so clogged that I cannot get my original thought in the English out properly. Mm. And uh, we had that kind of a reading that uh, initially I feel something was wrong, but he thinks. Mm. Everything was fine. It's not mm -hmm. his fault, but it's the wording. Anyway, once we are there, you oh, will it's going to be interesting. I'm going to we're going to present so... it a little different because oh, I kind of want yes. I want your take on it. So yes. when we get there, we're going to actually reach out to you guys, and we'll have a special sort of section there. All right, because the, this is so cool. It's so so cool. But the interesting <sighs> thing is, after yesterday's discussion, right away my eyes, my right eye, and now it's <laughs> it's better, right? Was my both eyes were so itchy and so red that like a whole fired up. I think that kind of a clog, uh, clogging situation got my whole like uh, the body heat up, and I got a little crack on the uh, corner of my mouth. And today I was like I couldn't do a live because my eyes were so itchy, like and so red I couldn't really mm -hmm. open it. But now mm -hmm. it's better. I did some gua sha. So if you see like I have a little red. Like here, it's not domestic violence. I it's not uh, the. It's not from like, last night's heated discussion. It was that? purely academic. 
See the red here? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, where they can see that. <laughs> That's a gua sha. Oh, that is gua sha. But we, I did that right away, my eyes feel much We better. did a live on that, but I don't think yeah. we posted a video about it, but maybe someday. If you're interested, let us know. We could do that maybe. Um, but it really relieved your eyes oh. and your heat symptoms At right away, I'm right? At least I'm not rubbing them nonstop. I was like, uh, my eyes couldn't open, so that was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so if you see me look a little bit weird, that's from that. And I have to say, I really didn't realize that uh, when I chose this article, I thought it would be relatively easy because the English is so good. And uh, um, I would have so less interesting. work, less work compared to uh, China Tea Book mm, that we mm. did uh, previously. However, yesterday I, I, I'm taught a big lesson that because it really kind of approves what I keep saying because mm. the English is so good. It yep. gets that, um, especially for English speaker, you read it, there's nothing wrong. It really in, uh, kind of give you that impression. And no matter how hard I try to express that there is mm. a difference in tone, like something is so different to there. Yes. And because it was it's, so convincing to me, it really set me in a certain path. And we're going to get to that. But it, it is actually, we've said this before about this translation is that, you know, the good thing about a bad translation mm. or an obviously bad translation is you're on guard. Yeah. You're watching for missteps, you're giving latitude, you're giving some space for the meaning to be bent this way or that. When the English is grammatically correct, it sets you in a path. And mm. I was locked and it took a long time to bump me out of the path, back up, come at this again and see that for what it is. And you know, so I think we're going to change our method. We're going to go back to doing this document the same way we did China Tea, which was you don't read the English, I don't read the English to you. I'll read mine and make my and give you a synopsis, and then you'll mm -hmm. say, whoa, 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 hold the phone, Doctor Malone. I just made that up. That's not a thing. Anyway, <laughs> and we'll and we'll sort it out that way. That way, um, I'll still be set in my way, but it'll be better. I think it might be better. I don't know. We're, it's going to be interesting. This one's tricky. It's really yeah, fun. And I have to say, there's that. Uh, uh, English maybe way of learning mm. or maybe something mm. like I have problem uh, fully understand. Yes. You know the wording for yes. me was a little bit hard, yes. like the nuance. I couldn't yep. fully capture it, so I have to ask him to put that in a more like a casual way, so I can yep. understand yep. better. Yeah, because and, it's so uh, academically worded, and the sentence structure is also very proper English. I think Clifford will appreciate that. And I do appreciate it too. It's so lovely to read proper English, at least mm. in most cases it is. And the way the sentences are structured is much more elegant and uh, beautiful. But sometimes that comes at the expense of, at least in our, in our North American dialect, in our North American manner of speaking, it sometimes seems to uh, confuse or make it less evident at, as, as to what's being said. Uh, <laughs> Canadians can't spell. Hey, can't spell. Actually, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. We, I know that I use a lot of American spelling in social media and on the website, but we do, we don't recognize those spellings officially. We recognize most of the UK spellings, like uh, color with O U R, which I still believe is the right way to spell color, the only way to spell color. Anyway, without getting too distracted, <laughs> I wanted to address Josh. He said it might be allergies. Better get tested. It's for sure not allergies. The symptoms all came entirely inside. We were out day, outside gardening all day. And Jubai Jia nailed it in the next comment. Too much young, all the heavy thinking and discussion. That's exactly it's what it a, was. It's so funny. I was doing, because I was doing the, the, the gua sha myself and right mm. away my eyes feel like moisture, instant. like instant. You mm. see, I can open. I'm not a Instant like relief. Anymore. And they were red. I saw them and they cleared up. Like And I, last night I did a sleep well, like a really shallow sleep. Mm. So I also did a blood lead on my finger. I didn't say that. I don't want to scare you guys. Because just a couple of drops really release that. Anyways, let's get to this. Uh, let's dive in. Let's dive in. All right. Bastard. So, <laughs> easy, tiger. Holy cow. Yeah, oh, let's get to it. Would I get banned? I don't Probably think we'll get banned. I think it's, uh, you know, it's not for kids. Probably not. All right, guys. So, as we mentioned, the link to this document is down in the description below. So, head down there and pull it up. We have gone through. Um, 
the first section and we've gone through T nomenclature. Mm -hmm. And now we are at the section for, we started mm -hmm. in on the basis for classifying T last mm -hmm. week. And we, you were right, I didn't really get it, but we stopped just short right. of the end of the processing section. So how will I describe that to you guys? Maybe I'll just quickly show you that will be easier. I think the interesting thing we might show them is the comparison with the Chinese version and the English version. How much we go through in... Mm, yes, mm. yes, the, and the structure. So we're gonna, I'm just going to show you guys where we're at. So this is where we were last week and the basis for classifying T. So you can grab your copy and kind of go along. Mm -hmm. And you see the green dot? That's where we're going to pick it up here today. Right... I can also draw a little... We have a traffic light right on here. the paper. Okay. Make a little mess. All right, so that's where we're going to pick up. Mm. So I'll let you get us started. Okay. Will you show them the uh, Chinese thing? So oh, that, oh, sure. I, I want to go through the structure because... Uh, oh, so, oh, right. The, we're going to uh, start with the structure. That's right. Yeah. So I'll just get us to the same point in the uh, Chinese document. You might need to help me a little bit, but this mm -hmm. should be part two. I can see R. Mm -hmm. So this is the part. We did this last week. Yes, two paragraph. And today we're going to do another two paragraph in Chinese. But the English version is many, many uh, paragraphs. Paragraphs, which why I think uh, I want to mention it, because it matters in terms of the logical... The idea uh, clustering. The I mm. That's right. Because paragraph, because uh, they're all in English version, they're all under the same section, individual paragraphs. Yeah, I'll just so show the, them quick, like, right. because it's a really good point. And it really, and I, you see in the sidelines, I've kind of broken them apart so we know what's going on. So you can go ahead. So in English, in the basis for classifying, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We did four paragraphs uh, last week. Okay, right. so that's a good way to look at it. Mm -hmm. And in the Chinese document, what did we do? We did, I think, right? Yeah, two paragraphs right here. Right. Okay, so uh, today the, the heavy part was, uh, is the second right paragraph we're going to do today. Uh, yeah. Going on. So we're going to be so doing... This is the easy one, the first paragraph, uh, the second paragraph here. So this is the paragraph with the... Yeah, so that's the hard one. But in English, it's break into several uh, paragraphs. Why it mm. matter? Because in the paragraph, this article in Chinese written is very um, uh, clear and mm. uh, in a nice formulated way, which is the beginning or the end of the paragraph is more of a, a sum up, no matter what. And this is right. the idea of the mm. whole paragraph in the middle where something is explaining what's going on. Mm -hmm. So uh, when it's a break into different paragraphs, you might not be able to group them properly. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of the logic sense. Yeah. And we'll come back to that again. I think I want to mm. kind of really point that out as we go through. Right. Right on. So here we are at the uh, tea processing mm -hmm. section, finishing off tea processing, and then we're going to dive into some characteristics. Mm. So the two, uh, so first this one uh, belongs to talking about tea processing, pointing this action, mm -hmm. this paragraph, is that one paragraph? Two, two paragraphs. It's two okay. paragraphs. This section, these two paragraphs uh, point out in reality what happens in tea processing. And um, right, and what it is about. So the main mm -hmm. thing you might notice is talking about heat, how heat is used and its importance in uh, tea processing. I just want to point out when talking about heat is not just about uh, kill grit, like a way apply extra heat, right. like a roast or uh, go through a certain machine for heat. There's another heat that comes from the leaves itself. So mm -hmm. if you go to tea uh, production rooms and stuff, it, it, um, you see how the leaves are piled up. Mm -hmm. Those are also heat. So the farmers will pile the leaves according to their situation. Sometimes they're piled or lay out yep. thin. So mm -hmm. they want a low temp. They want to keep the leaves cool. Sometimes they pile that a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. If the temperature is too low, they pile them thicker. So they have more... Um, heat 
yeah. uh, generated from the leaves themselves. So there's mm -hmm. nothing to heat them up. Uh, you will see that more in. You see that almost every tea. Yeah, process, I've even noticed but, uh, your mom. Is, uh, quite a lot. Right, because and I've they e have that oxidization. Yeah, I've even noticed your mom when their leaves are laid out. She'll go and. Uh, check the thickness of the pile, grab that and feel the leaf. She'll grab a handful of them and kind of feel them in her hand. Uh, mm. Also smell them because you can smell that reaction too. Yeah. Really interesting. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, it talks about heat and then it talks about that and why they talk about mm -hmm. that a little bit. I like this sentence there, but enzymes are never quiescent, right? They never, so we've, we've mentioned that before, right? The moment the tea is plucked, mm -hmm. The oxidation starts, right? So you, it's not like they pluck it and throw it and kill green it, right? We say that green tea is uh, no oxidation, but it's not really, it's kind of impossible that it's true, right? Yeah, because, and also I know, uh, like when we talk about tea, ayo, sorry, shake the table. Oh, I do that all the time. Oh, it's really um, hard not to shake the table. We talk about oxidation, fermentation, but that's not the only thing. The leaves mm. are. Mm. doing right they also breathe the the, mm. the cells in the leaves doesn't die instantly when it's plucked right, right? they also uh, photosynthesize right. right right like all those are also happening and the changing the chemicals in the leaves so mm -hmm. those are all happening um, and same sometimes people think oh because green tea is uh, oh there's no oxidation so it means that there's a zero oxidation. Right. Statistically, it's impossible. It happens. And even in green tea, we have that airing process. If you watch our, uh, like how tea is made, how green tea is made, especially the recent Anji Bai Cha, all the tea leaves need to rest mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. it goes to the, goes to the, you know, kill green and process. So that's a time it is doing oxidation. Just right. the level is, the key thing about green tea is, there's no step encouraging that process, right. but a step to stop it. So mm -hmm. that's it. It's not saying green tea is 100% no oxidation. Right. And I noticed there's, the, uh, there's a couple of spots where the translation was also a little bit uh, misleading, right? Mm -hmm. We noticed that yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, they finally mentioned, so first, like in earlier episodes, right? We noticed that they call the kill green the rankness elimination process. Finally, we introduce Sha Qing hmm. um, in, the, in this paragraph. We introduce Sha Qing, but it says, does not act thoroughly or uniformly is the way it's written. Mm -hmm. Which is not the Chinese and it's mm. not quite true. What's the ultimate goal is to have a kill grain that acts thoroughly and uniformly. Mm -hmm. That's why usually we think handmade is better right. than machine because the machine is a huge quantity in the machine while handmade is small. Right. You have more chance to get that even and thorough, yeah. easy to control. But again, not saying machine, a handmade is good, better than machine. There's nothing straight like that. Right. right? Result decides which one is better. Yeah, and if there you are crappy handmade. I want to just too. promote, uh, if you go back and check our Meng Ding, our Meng Ding video when we were uh, from our tea trip 2018, you'll see Mr. Huang or one of the producers, I'm not sure it was for sure Mr. Huang, but one of them is doing the uh, kill green and he's measuring the temperature with his hand mm -hmm. as he does it. It's mm -hmm. really something, right? Mm. So in the Chinese originals, uh, it says not easy mm -hmm. to uh, act thoroughly or uniformly. Right. Oh, so yeah. here it becomes a... Right, I'll just do uh, this for them so they can see. It's this section here. Right. And it basically means it's not easily achieved, which That's is right. legit. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Since we're on sort of missed translation or missed words, there's another one that seems innocuous, but it's this moreover down here where he's concluding the processing, right? Mm. Um, and it's really, because it's a conclusion, it's more of a therefore works better. This may seem yes. picky, but it really does change the tone of the writing. Um, yeah, this sentence in the Chinese original is more of a thumb up the whole paragraph. So this whole discussion, uh, this right. two paragraph here, sorry, in English two paragraphs is talking about this. Uh, if we just simplify uh, the matter to use enzyme, enzymatic oxidization, oxidation, oxidation 
uh, to differentiate T types that would be not matching the real situation, like green tea. Even though it's quote unquote not supposed to have it, it's still happening. Right. Right. So that's the kind of the summary of the whole area. Right. And that. So I just want to come back to the structure again. Right. So this is the end of the processing paragraph. Right. Mm. I think for you and Chinese, that's a paragraph. Right. Yes. And here's here it is. It's all. It started way up here last week. Mm. Way up here. So it's like right here, processing section. Right. Oh no. The using the heat is the second paragraph. So the right. first paragraph is a proposed the. Uh, the 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 point and right. explain it. Second one here. is uh, yeah talking about heat, which is talking about more what's happening in real life. The second Chinese yes. paragraph, which yes. is right here. When tea is processed. What we yes. did today. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. So that uh, that's getting us started, okay. though. We're just warming up here, folks. We're just warming up. Maybe we can pop out. And see if there's any questions. We've been really into the document. This is really gripping. I mean, this really gets down to. Anyway, we're getting there. I don't want to get ahead of myself. So let's just see what's going on. So, um, right, uh, Lee, Lee, Lee agrees. Like after a long day and you're mixing languages, or you're like for her. Imagine yes. if I don't know. <laughs> I used to go to school in French. Um, uh, I went to a French school and university, and. Um, there were days where I would only speak French, and uh, just operating in your second language, it just you just run at a higher energy level. Even if you're really good at it, as she is, uh, tremendously good at it, but it still is a little more draining than in your mother tongue. So I feel that's also just a little extra hard thing. I'm really, I don't know. You're amazing. Okay, you're really amazing. <laughs> At the end of the day, I only want to listen to a Chinese YouTuber. I don't even care about the content. I just want to hear mm. Chinese. Time Signature MMA makes a great point in terms of the quality of a translation is more than just the correctness of the grammar. And yes, 100%. And he goes on. Cultural adaptation is very important too.、Mm. Yeah, and that's probably the trickiest part.、Uh, like, how are you? I remember、yeah. his first Chinese learn. Ni hao ma. Lesson is how are you? And I was like, who says that in Chinese? They don't use it, right? <laughs> Um, I get those marks when I exercise. A heat eutocaria disappears in one hour. I do not understand、mm -hmm. if that or an allergy. Ah, what? So in this case, it's kind of the opposite, Igor. These marks were made by her on purpose to let the heat out. So、mm -hmm. it's a little. It's not like the heat's expressing itself. It's she knows it's there. Psst, get it out.、Mm -hmm. We can't spell as Canadians. True or false? It's okay. We're、um, you know we have our we have our good moments and our bad moments. I'm not going to argue with an Englishman though, because you know they own the language. It's their, it's the Queen's English. That's why we call it that.、Uh, this is definitely college level text. Time signature MMA. It is a scholar, so it makes sense that it's written、mm. in an. Yes, yes, totally makes sense.、Um, and finally, and Clifford says,、uh, "J'adore les Canadiens." All、oh, right, thank you. <laughs>、uh, leaf exothermic reactions,、mm, exothermic just like allergy、reaction. alligator nests, huh? I miss the alligator nests. I don't understand that one. You got to explain that, Jumajia. What's an alligator nest? Leaf reactions.、Mm -hmm. Oriental beauty reacts on leaf hoppers. Wondering if stressing a leaf before picking will make a difference. Oh yeah, no question about that. A little bit different, but、mm -hmm. all right, good stuff, guys. Now、okay. we're gonna we're、oh. coming to a hard part. Yeah.、Much. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna read this out and show them. Show them that. I'm gonna show that I can hear. What do you get? Okay, from guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the first sentence kind of come and go though, because、uh, I don't want to distract them with that. So,、um, first sentence,、uh, don't worry too much. In classifying tea, the second requirement is to highlight the systematic links between the characters characters I prefer characteristics of different teas. Okay, so, but this is the one I want you guys to give me your take on. Okay, here we go. Everybody, buckle up your seatbelts. Take a sip of tea. And pay attention. All right, <laughs> here we go. Okay, I'm gonna ask you your take on this. So focus in now, everybody. Looking at the screen, reading with me. Suppose first that the color and glossiness of green tea are considered only in respect of the color green. Suppose that is that teas are held to be different because one is darker or paler than the other, or because one is glossy and the other matte in appearance. Under this supposition, 
If the appearance of the T changes to a dull brown, the T must be classified under a different category. Moreover, seasoning and processing must be dismissed as irrelevant. This is not a happy situation. Okay, a couple things, okay? That was the thing. I want your take on what that means and I'll just back up a bit. Dull brown is yellow, okay? You can read that as yellow. So if the appearance of the T changes to yellow, the T must be classified under a different category. Moreover, storage, okay? Seasoning is storage. I think it will be hard for you to guess that. So I'm gonna tell you, moreover, storage and processing must be dismissed as irrelevant. This is not a happy situation. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for you guys to give me your uh, take on this whole, what does this mean? Like, what does it mean to you? How does it speak to you? How would you interpret this? What's the angle that the, uh, that the author is coming from here? Um, this is, we were on this for a while last night, right? Really uh, trying to get to the bottom of this. And, you can, and read, you can read ahead a little bit to see what's going on, maybe give you some hints, like go ahead, don't feel like you have to only read this section, that doesn't make any sense. If you wanna read the next para, the next section, the next para. The funny thing is, yesterday we read this, I felt like there was something wrong. So I explained the Chinese version, just to, aside from this, Translation, just what the Chinese said. I, I kind of expressed that in a very, very low level uh, English, just trying to be. Yeah, no, just regular clear. English. It was pretty. Right? Mm -hmm. Then he said, oh, that's pretty much what he said here. Mm -hmm. So I still don't think that was right. So uh, we let it slide because the discussion went on too long, for too long. So we let it slide. So we keep <sighs> reading and keep reading. And Somehow that tone keep bugs me about. <laughs> yes, I so I so so I still like believe itch. that while the Chinese version and this version are different. How do I say? Not hugely different. It's that undertone is different. Tone, yeah, there is a tone. You know, difference. so mm -hmm. I was like, no, I gotta get this straight, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, that's the moment I feel so clogged because I feel something's different, but my expression come out and seem to be identical meaning to him. So I guess that makes me feel like if you, you know, communication, right? What's communication? Coder. I, I, I get my information coded, send it off in the air. Mm. In this case, no cell phone, no technology. He received my information, he decodes. Mm -hmm. What could go wrong? Coder goes wrong? or the decoder goes wrong. I just, I was at some point, I just had no idea how can I make that more clear where I feel that difference in the expression, tone, in, in, in tones. The, in, and, and underlying meaning. Yes, and uh, a certain point I really feel like he was really, first impression first, right? So it's all about suppose. Mm, yeah. And plus, at the same time, uh, I'm not very used to this kind of a wording mm. of suppose that is held to be different. Right, right, right. Like there's a ways that in sometimes, like uh, we notice that in our daily life, sometimes I say something, I thought I meant that, I mean in English, and he got that totally different. Obviously, that's my problem because I still have my habit of talking. Okay. Okay. So I'm not sure if I didn't see many people. It's a bit hard to probably right. express what you might be thinking or what you might get from this. It might be a lot of words to type. Mm. Um, it'd be uh, nice to dialogue about it, but I'm going to, so I'll, after reading this, I'm going to mm -hmm. give you straight up what I thought was going on here or what was going on for me. So suppose first that the color and glossiness of green tea are only considered in the respect of the color green. So, um, it sounds like he's explaining, okay, let's take a system of classification that only looks at the leaf color and you've got dark and lighter ones that are different green teas, but they're all green, so they're all green teas. And maybe they're glossy or matte, but they're still green and they're green teas. So under this supposition, if a tea comes along that's yellow, the tea is not a green tea. It has to be classified under a different category, right? That's kind of what this says to me. And then moreover, storage and processing must be dismissed as irrelevant. So I thought, that sounds to me like what he's saying is that 
this color using color in this way isn't going to work because if you process a tea and make it yellow even though you did the green tea steps which is totally possible it's not going to be a green tea even though you it so what it would be is a bad green tea but what it will be is a yellow tea or some other tea because it's not even green anymore or the opposite if some other tea ends up to be green but it doesn't but it's it's a green tea just because of its color but it might have it might have everything else different and then of course this is not a happy situation make me think that's yeah that's definitely not happy right you don't want to have these poorly stored green teas that just turn yellow but you have to dismiss that because you're using this supposed green coloration scale okay so if you think that's a pretty accurate read of what's written here i guess this will be easier for you give me a thumbs up give me a say hey yeah i think what you read is pretty close or say is no that what you also read from yeah, the yeah. english so this is, and this is the sort of the, I'll use the term um, Clifford used it. This is the rabbit hole that I went down, <laughs> right? And, uh, and it took a while to pull me out. So, um, mm. you know, go ahead and poke your head in, but try not to fall into that rabbit hole. Yes. The reason I felt struggle is uh, if we keep reading, again, there's a conclusion mm. that draws everybody back on the same page. Mm. But in Chinese, that's not right. That's not what he's saying. This one yeah. has the strong, for me, when I read it, strong, hypothetic, like, imagine this condition. Mm. We just diving in this hypothetic condition he proposed here, that green tea and color and stuff like that. But that is not about it. This paragraph, this section is a real life example. Mm -hmm. So it's not imagine this, it's saying green tea are this situation. So green tea are the leaf color in the range of green. They are green color. Mm -hmm. The only difference between different green tea are shades and bright or dull. Right, luster. Yeah, color mm -hmm. level. And I feel like what made him feel like a, and in his tone is like, if the green tea changed to yellow tea, then it become a different category or something. But that's not what the Chinese mm, say. It's yeah. just to say, if this leaf is green. Yeah, let me come back to it because we actually cross that right out, right? Right? If the appearance of the tea changes to a dull brown, but in the actual text, that's not what it says. It actually says, uh, how can I show? I'll show you. I don't know if you'll be able to read it. It gets pretty small when I do this. But what it says is, let me grab that. Come on. Oh, right. Uh, I don't know if somehow not working. Oh, because I've got stuff on top of stuff. Let me just find this. If the color of the tea is yellow is what it says. Not if the appearance changes to yellow. If the color of the tea is yellow, sorry, that took me a while to find. Right, right sorry. No, that's okay. Yes. <laughs> so, right? So, sorry, I interrupted you. No, no. That change, even though it's a word by word change in Chinese reading, if we read the whole sentence, right, it's right. not this green tea change to yellow tea. Right. It means now we're changing. This is a yellow leaf. What do we say? Change, it's more like a change in the scenario rather than scenar like right, scenario like right. scenario one not change to scenario B. Right. It's just a this is scenario one. Now mm -hmm. we talk about scenario B. This, uh, if I could just add to your point, sorry, I don't want to interrupt your thought, but that's kind of like what Time Signature was saying about knowing how the how to culturally read the word. The word is change if you look at a character, but when you put it in the context, it's not a transformation from green to yellow. It's if the scenario flips and it's a yellow tea. Right. Suddenly and it's, it's not yeah. talking about how storage and processing um, are irrelevant. Mm. They are very irrelevant. Just, uh, very relevant. Just in this case, we're not talking about a bad storage or bad um, process that make this tea yellow. Just to say, when it's a properly pro uh, pr uh, processed, uh, this tea has a yellow color, then it's a different category. Yeah. So. I'm just going to read out, I'll read out my kind of, right, my, right. this is not as academic or not an, like an official translation, but here's my take on it of how to um, kind of get that a little bit 
Yeah, they can see that, good. I just gotta get here, or get here. There we go, this will get me there. So here's my, I would have said, for example, green teas, instead of suppose, I would have started with what it says in Chinese, which you gave me, right? For, for example. example. <laughs> for, because that brings you we back. We linger on that so much yesterday. But it is really important because it's, an, it's a real world example, it's not a supposition. So for example, green teas are green, some darker or lighter, some lustrous, some matte. So if a tea is yellow, then it's not a green tea not including bad processing or bad storage. Okay, so that's kind of, I don't know, I might smooth over the ending a little bit more, but that's kind of the spirit of it. And yeah. this whole, this is not a happy situation, that's an artifact. It's not there at all whatsoever. Mm. That's why there's a bright red line through it. It yeah. didn't appear in the text. Yes, and I think that this is not a happy situation, kind of seal this whole English yeah, tone yeah. that this is a hypothetical situation we're talking about, yeah, yeah. which is not. So in the go through the whole article, he really combines that academic. We're trying to categorize this thing with what's really happening in real Chen life. Chen Chuan, Chen Chuan, Chuan yes. Mm. So those examples are great Chinese reality examples, mm -hmm. and that's why I deeply respect that. His knowledge in tea is not just uh, captured yes. in school. Yes, he knows what's happening in real life. If you because it's a vast. Uh, vast region with vast, uh, you know, different people, different studies and stuff like that. A system that can be mostly agreed on with most people. You cannot just know a little bit on the right. Book. You have to know what's happening in the tea region with the farmers. And that's what it shows here. Yes. And again, this is not a, a it's individual part. It really come binds with what's mentioned before, right. tea process. Yeah. It's talking about how tea process would affect the, the colors and stuff. And this also shows like um, it's a combination consideration. It really when classify as what was classifying. classifying tea in terms of a category, it's not just a process. Process is the base. Now he expanded to talk about the other Char elements. Right. That he, yes. yes, characteristics in this case, right? Yes, uh, take into consideration and the link between the process and all those characters. So it's very uh, well stated, uh, mm. well exampled and stuff. Just this tone, like, you know, like scratch. It's not something I would say, oh, that's so wrong or something. It's like, oh, right. something's oh, not right. And we noticed that at the end, even if I went ahead with that. The conclusion is right. Yeah, so, it, <laughs> so basically you've got, you know, she read it and she got through that section as it was written in Chinese and made sense and it was clear to her what was really meant. I went off on this tangent of like, like time signature says, like it's some kind of a philosophy paper, supposing blah, 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 mm. and then come back when it all wraps up, I'm in the same place. I just right. went on a different path, which was un right. unnecessary and a little confusing. And maybe is going to have, leave me with some scars or some symptoms. I don't want to make it dramatic, like not scars, but you know what I mean? Like my head's not in the right place because I went the wrong way. I end up at the same place, but I saw different things that weren't real. They weren't there. They weren't written in the original text is what I mean by they weren't there. So this could have, and probably would have, so very interesting, subtle twist of the language. The big thing was the changes to yellow, changes to dull brown, that was really throwing me off. And then the, and then the moreover, seasoning and processing must be dismissed as irrelevant in sort of, I kind of packaged that in the supposition, this sort of, no, that's not it. It's, it means not including those things, not including storage and processing, right? Green tea is green. Of course, bad, poorly stored green tea will turn yellow, but we're not including poorly stored. It's what he means is like that tone, not the way I looked at it. And this is not a happy situation. Really nailed it up for me. It's like, oh, this hypothetical thing is not good, and that's why my way is better. I mm -hmm. thought it was an argument to support his notion for it, but no, completely wrong. Completely rabbit hole. Well, you see how interesting it is. Super like, it's not a a wrong or bad or stuff like that, but mm. how a few characters, maybe the interpretations, he would understand Chinese totally 
the different way. Which eventually moved、yeah. back, but just that nuance drove me crazy. But it was also fun. It was really like, fun to really say a lot of times. Like、uh, that's why I always encourage you guys. If you didn't understand me、uh, or something,、ask. shoot a message or something. Ask because I would imagine that I explain that well. Perfect. But it's、mm-hmm. not or confusing. Just never be shy or feel bad to. And I want to throw out this. We discussed this last night too.、Mm. The 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 person who translated this. Okay, this is they did a great job. Okay, this is not to say oh what an awful job. Not、mm. at all. Yes. They undertook a Herculean task and they did a stand up job. And moreover, they got this information at least introduced. Like I said, I ended up in the right spot. I just took a funny way to get there. So this is by no means. This is just to. Just as just to share with you guys the inside workings of how these things come up for me, this is the essence of Sunday、mm. Tea Book. This is the、yes. real essence、yeah. of this exercise. Of course, in the end, it really doesn't matter when you drink tea、mm-hmm. and all those、mm-hmm. things, and you don't have to be so nerdy. We don't yeah, have yeah. to be this is, perfect. It's just the little things that we found when、yes. we're reading this. Yes, I promised for the people who aren't tea nerds. So if you're a tea nerd, you're just drooling by now. You're loving this, right? But if you're not <laughs> and you're just here for the tea trivia and the great company, <laughs> that's good too. We've still got the tidbit coming for you. This gold, okay? And、uh, I just want to to check out time signature throws out the problem with suppose is that it's a marker of what's called epistemic modality, as Jen、mm-hmm. said, it serves to express a hypothetical, which is yes, perfect. Thank you for that. I never know those awesome words, but yes, right, right. and it so it really set up that sort of we felt hypothetical as English readers, but in Chinese it's for example, and it's straight up reality. All right, so I'm just gonna scan. I think we're good with、uh, comments. Okay, I see a little comment about shampooar up there about microorganisms and stuff, and we're gonna get to that. So I want to save it, or did we pass that already? Because it was just addressed. Oh, I think they will have certain sessions in the article later、mm. on. Okay, we'll save it for later.、Mm. We'll keep moving along.、Yeah. So then, after this section,、yeah. he goes on to take. So first, he explains the real world, just green tea in general, and then he dives in. I'll let you explain it. It's a little better, but he gives、oh, some. I did a great job. Some examples of real teas that also kind of trip on this or get、mm-hmm. tripped one way or the other.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, sorry, I just take my cell phone up. Mm. So that you don't have to look at the head,、oh, sure. the top of my head. <laughs> Or I can do that if that's okay.、It. Uh, I'm a little bit dizzy between English and Chinese here. So,、uh, yeah, you. Do, I gotta say, you do a great job because you're.、Reading. And I cannot use the paragraph because I the paragraph、mm-hmm. is different, or the reference is different. And just a while ago, you actually did a real time translation, guys. This is a really like. Give her a big round of applause. Like it's really hard, really hard. You did a great job. Okay, the interesting thing I wanted to mention is in my previous language video, I didn't. So I kind of give you some example about the character Qin could mean different, different colors, right? Green, blue,、mm. uh, you know, indigo, even black. That's kind of a weird, I think, in terms of like in English. I guess the color is pretty specific. Red never means black. I guess. Um, is it true? I don't know. I just like tell me if there's some real use of that. But here it very specifically point out what's the color of a Qing cha. If you are a little bit curious, like so, uh, Qing in Qing cha, what color it is? Here is very uh, uh point out that is the green with a little bit of yellow. So. If you、mm. want to simplify, tea cha is a shade of a green tea, but the difference it has a that kind of yellow. It's almost like a grass. If you see the young grass, you know that a tender green with a little bit of yellow in it. So、mm. you will see that with the、uh, uh, oolong tea. And he says, so oolong tea cha now we call oolong tea. Uh, is this kind of color and from sh-、uh, light shade like if you、uh, look at baozhong. Uh, Lianxin, you don't see that much nowadays.、Uh, and Tieguanyin is、uh, mm. here as an example to the really dark shade of oolong. Nowadays, for us, we probably many people when they think about Tieguanyin, Iron Goddess, it's、um, 
light is a green version. We right. both, uh, but uh, traditionally Tiaguanyin are dark. And I know uh, we have uh, we have a classic Tiaguanyin, right. and people are like, oh, mm. so classic Tiaguanyin means it's roasted. No, uh, it means more than just a roasting. From the whole process. The, the process right? is mm. different in how much is done. So if you ever wondering what really traditional Tiaguanyin, not just a roasted Tiaguanyin, traditional Tiaguanyin, mm. classic Tiaguanyin tastes like, we have that. And I'm guaranteed if you are a Tiaguanyin lover, blow your mind. That's the only Tiaguanyin I drink. Um, yeah, that's her favorite yeah. tea. And if you want to see the color he's talking about, just g pull up on Google like Gen Tea Tiaguanyin Classic mm -hmm. and it'll come up right. and you can see that leaf. It's way more to the tone of a... It's dark. Of Some people even almost. think, oh, this is not Tiaguanyin, this is Yan Cha. Uh, yeah, we had someone in, in our one of our, our first tea festival in New York City t tell us this is in Tiaguanyin, it's Danton. And we're like, no, no, it's Tiaguanyin. Yeah. Before the uh, anyway, yeah. before the process changed, it's a classic Taiwanian. Yes, and so that's that. Uh, and just want to uh, point out again in the ending when uh, Professor Chen Chuan summarized again when we look at what are we talking about? Like in translation, we talk about uh, the color, the the shades, and the glossiness. I think he uses the word glossiness. We sometimes use like luster, luster. radiant, mm. that kind of thing. Mm. So. We got to look about look at a dry leaf, a liquor and a brew leaf, as you can see on all our like a, if you are. I mean, if somebody professional or know more about yes. Chinese tea, that's the three essential thing that we have to look no matter what tea it is. And that's the gold tidbit for those of you who aren't interested in all the super deep nerdy stuff is in the characteristics of tea. Pay it. You can't just look at the dry leaf. You can't just look at the liquor. You got to look at all three things. And right. if, if you just enjoy drinking tea and you pay a little bit of attention to those three things, you're going to learn some cool stuff. Mm, mm. So that was just, I yeah. just want to throw that down. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. see the traffic light there. Yeah. We're getting close to the traffic light. I'll just show them where that is just because it's fun. Right. Um, uh, right. And it's right here. Right. So right. let me get my little pointer. If I can do it, does it work? Yeah, that works. So this is the key one. And there's a little bit of a, uh, it's not a, it's when seen from underneath just means the brood leaf. Right. Um, it's just a mistranslation. But in differentiating visual features, we must take into account how the leaf looks when dry, infused, the liquor, and when brewed. Mm. All right. So just to summarize the structure, uh, it might not show as clear, but if uh, when we read inside and step back mm. and have a glimpse over the whole thing, is basically this section starts by what are we talking about? Two major things, process and the character, the quality of the tea. First section, we talked about the tea process, its importance about it, and in real life, how this affects the tea. Mm -hmm. Then today, like this week, we dive into the tea quality, the character side. First of all, the color. So next, we can look at the Shape, shape and more about tea right so it's very clear and structured i can almost uh, like i draw a chart about this yeah, it's really well structured very, and even yeah. in this one this is the end of a chinese paragraph i think mm, right mm. and it, he even sums it up beautifully right overall character is systematically related to the method yes. of processing so the characteristics of the tea yes. are related so those again two... supporting the point yes. why process yes. is the base and that's why most of us, when we know about tea types, we talk about process. Yes. There is a good reason yes. for that. So uh, I just love how formulated this kind of writing is. You can really mm -hmm. scan the, uh, the, the first uh, sentence or the yep. last sentence, you get the gist. Yep. You want to explain it, it's in the middle. If you don't want right. to read the whole That's thing, right. you might miss some of the detailed examples. Yeah. I wanted to say too, like every now and then it's fun to um, Remember, like take yourself out of our current paradigm, right? Our current paradigm is we all understand the six T categories and put yourself in his shoes at that time when he's looking at the spectrum of Chinese tea. It's like a pile of sand. I mm -hmm. love that metaphor, right? It's like you've got a pile of sand in front of you and everybody's just calling that tea and they've got different ways of naming it and different oh, ways. Oh, and a good thing, not good thing to mention. It's an important thing to mention is he didn't create the mm. word green tea 
or mm. yellow tea or stuff. Mm. Those teas pre-exist. Later on, he will explain why he uses those. Okay, ah, he's cool. very considerate for people, like a practical as mm. well as a scholar. So those words mm. are not created by him. Right, right. It's widely used. He is just organizing. And organizing the attachment of right of process to character and yeah. why we would why this one is uh, uh, the leaf is the color green why is it not a green tea you got to look at more than just the color if you dig mm. in the process if you dig in the character of the brewed liquor you know etc etc mm. really interesting but just for me to remember that he is coming at that from uh, trying to put some a systematic mm. and repeatable you know right. he wants a system that if somebody innovates a new tea it fits or it can fit so this is pretty pretty amazing stuff so right. that wraps up this week Whew. we made it we're still together no it wasn't that, <laughs> wasn't that bad but it was really interesting i hope you guys enjoyed the uh the sort of deep dive into the uh language this week the thing is once we pass sorry once we pass this phase like we look back i feel like it wasn't so frustrating right? why was i so frustrated but when we were in the middle of that, it was like a really, I oh, just couldn't get my uh, thoughts through that kind of frustration. It's like trying to explain a complex thought to somebody with soundproof glass in between. Yes. Like you know, it's like you can, <laughs> all you can do is wave your hands and make faces right? and they can't understand. You're trying to explain something complicated. And the worst part is, is they think they've got it. Because they, they're like, yeah, I know, I see you're, you're shaking your hands like crazy. I understand what you mean. And you're like, no, you don't. It's, it's not, you know, it was really, it was like that, right? It was yeah, just yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So, um, so Fernanda says, I like my oolong greenish. Then I mean, I guess the dark, I get, uh, guess I'm a green lover. Yeah. Yeah. Totally mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like a green oolong is very popular. There is a good reason it's very popular. You know, mm. the aroma is good, the mouthfeel is rich, and really, uh, like, the, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just really good. Yeah, yeah, there's a, and the, there's a great article in, um, in Charen 2019 about how, what, how and why that happened, right? To get mm -hmm. Taeguan Yin out into the hands of the people, they needed to kind of make it more likable. So, uh, yeah, when we talk about classic Taeguan Yin or the original way it was done, there is a common notion that, oh, that must be the right way or the better way. It's just a way. Mm. It's not right or better. And it's your favorite. That's fine. That's her favorite. Doesn't mean it has to be your favorite. That's right. So, um, but Lolo seems to have a dark Taeguan Yin there in front of him. Oh, nice. Um, and yeah, for some, and Time Signature says, for some reason, I think darker oolong is more difficult to brew for me than greener oolong, but I think I finally found a way to brew dark oolong to my liking. Excellent. Nice. Good. Um, I don't know if you've seen my video. I'm going to plug my video. Shameless plug. All right. Check out my video on how to brew an unknown oolong. That's a great marker. Liquor color is, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll spoil it for you. Liquor color. But all right, guys. So that's perfect. I finished <sighs> the whole bottle. Yeah, we finished our, our uh, jug of tea. Um, done. We finished our section. Coming up Thursday the 15th, I'll be uh, jamming. I'll be chatting with Sucha. Sue, not Sucha. Sue from Sucha Tea. <laughs> it's kind of like Jen from Jen Tea. So I'll be chatting with Sue from Sucha Tea online. Uh, you can go to her website, suchatea.ca. If you want to register, it doesn't matter where in the world you are, it's mm -hmm. free to register. If you mm -hmm. want to donate, the mm -hmm. money will go to the Kidney Foundation. Um, we will have more great videos coming up for you guys. Um, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the notify bell. And if you like this video and you thought there was something good and interesting and meaty, tangible for you, <laughs> give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. We love doing these. I got yep. completely re-energized. I wasn't, I wasn't lack of energy. But I really see the like the sort of magic, the magic juice of Sunday Tea Book really comes out here. Like it's so much more to mm. be involved in this process than to just get the finished translation. You, yeah, you get the good information, but now you get the why, the how, the why is that confusing and mm. what was missed. All right, guys. Yeah. So time goes quick, does That's it ever? Right. All right, guys. So cheers. We will see you next week with our next installment. We're getting into shape. Uh, the characteristic of leaf shape. So be sure to join us next week for Sunday Tea Book. 
And until next time, keep steeping. Keep steeping.